I really just wanted to get an opportunity playing football and we just heard very good things so we joined and committed to it and then to see that I could go somewhere and play football the results speak for themselves if someone asked you Travis like hey should I work with Richie what would you say yes if you want to get an offer <laughs> <laughs> I love it man all right so just quick off the bat Travis just to tell what school do you go to what class what position my name's Travis Grayson I'm a 2024 quarterback I go to Espanito Charter High School awesome so can you share a little bit about where you were at in the recruiting process when we first met I was very new to it and I barely did anything for it before I started with you so when we met you were basically just getting started with the entire process uh, yeah i did very little before that and so can you describe what the challenge or challenge is that you were facing on the path to earning a scholarship mostly just getting in contact with coaches in a meaningful way i guess would be the hardest challenge i faced yeah what were some of the things that you were trying to do before we met i did like NCSA or I just looked them up on their website and then tried to email them. Okay. They just weren't answering or? Yeah, mostly they weren't answering in any meaningful way at least. So you were doing some things, you were just weren't getting like any type of connection of any type? Not really, no. Okay. So walk me through when we first started working together, you really hit the ground running. Kind of walk through, share a little bit of your experience of what some of the activities you were doing and what was working for you and what that was like. When I first got here, I did as many lessons as I could, as quickly as I could. And then I just started emailing and calling the coaches on the the list, I guess, from each school I wanted to look at. And so what, what was that like in the beginning, like picking up the phone and making calls? I mean, I'd be on the call with you in the morning and then I would practice or I would uh, call you in the afternoon and then practice some more. And then I finally got a script together with your help and then I would apply for all my calls after that and it made it a lot easier. Yeah. And so what was kind of walk through some of the experience you had of like not knowing what and then you started practicing, you knew what you're saying and then kind of what was happening as a result of that. It started getting easier and then I could react more to what they're saying more smoothly, I guess. And did it lead to anything? Yeah, I got several opportunities and even an offer after like a couple weeks. Like it was really quick and and got a lot more responses too. Yeah, and that's super rare. So for anyone watching, like the odds of you getting an offer within a month is, is really rare, but you really hit the pound, the pavement, man. You made the calls. You did a lot of things that most people will never do. They'll talk about, but they'll never do, and you did them. And so even though you put yourself in a position to get that offer, I mean, it's impressive, but I don't want people to think that that's the norm either. <laughs> So can you share a little bit about what that was like getting your first offer? It was pretty cool. I mean, it was exciting. And then to see that I could go somewhere and play football was really cool also. Yeah, that's awesome. What made you choose to work with me? I really just wanted to get an opportunity playing football and my family got recommended and we just heard very good things. So we joined and committed to it. Awesome. So as a result of us working together, Travis, where do you feel like you've grown the most? in my ability to do calls, like I said earlier, like a lot of practice with it and my confidence over a call grew. Okay, what about like communicating with coaches? I definitely improved on that. Got a lot of experience and good recommendations to go like visit these schools and got a lot more practice with interacting with coaches or just superiors in general. It's awesome, man. What would you share to an aspiring athlete, you know, a sophomore junior that's thinking about working with me what would you say to them they're like I'm, I'm unsure i don't know i don't know if it's legit or i don't know if he's really gonna work with me and jump on the phone with me and all that stuff what, what would you say i'd say you've done a really good job at finding a time to meet and the results speak for themselves obviously and i think that you guys did a good job of meeting with me whenever I was available and then making it really easy to. Okay. And so if someone asked you, Travis, like, hey, should I work with Richie? What would you say? Yes, if you want to get an offer. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. I love it. Travis, man, it's been an absolute pleasure working with you and I'm, I'm really excited to continue the journey with you through college as well. Yeah, I'm excited too. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Cool, man.